Good afternoon, fellow YouTubers. It is I, Mighty Mike Lotto Gamer here. And finally, I am going to be showing you guys the strategies video part two for Daily Kino. So here, these are the numbers that I played in the last few months, starting off from January 1st. But then I just kind of stopped at the first week of February because I'm, not I'm noticing like some vibes that the numbers are taking too long to pay out. So I'm probably going to just stop from, from there and then continue on as of January 1st. No, I mean, sorry, June 1st. So uh, can you see, I played 30, 37, 51, 56. These numbers have been drawn at least 10 to 15 times over the past two years, but they, I haven't won anything but they finally were drawn on march 24th the last time they were drawn was De december so i never got to match those numbers but the second set 34 37 51 56 i got to match them in january which i was plus 80 dollars and then when i stopped around the first week of february i was minus And then for 34, 37, 51, 68, I matched those numbers up at the same time as 34, 37, 51, 56. But it only took me 17 draws out of the 20 draws that I played in total. Because normally I would just play 10 draws and then once those are done, I play the next 10 draws. Because you never know if they show up again. But anyways... Let's get down to business. So for the second video is based on how you're gonna be spending and how you're gonna be placing your bets each time when you match the numbers. So so if so when I first played these three sets, I started off as a dollar bet, played up to a hundred draws for each set. I know for one set it would be a hundred dollars, but for three sets, it would cost $300. But if you're to focus on just the one set, I you would just spend up to $100 if you want to try to make money out on top, increase the bet, so then you're still in the in the plus zone. So when you go to $2, it'll cost you 50 draws, which is still another $100. Once you reach to $200, increase to $3, it'll take 33 33 draws and you'll be left with being under one dollar below 300 and then four dollars would be 25 draws so that would be another hundred dollars to try and break even and then five dollars would be 20 draws would be another hundred six dollars would be 17 draws over two dollars which means you'll be it'll cost it'll be an extra two dollars on top seven dollars would be 14 draws under two dollars it would only be less than a hundred dollars spent eight dollars for 13 draws over four dollars 104 dollars would be spent for that nine dollars would be 11 draws under one dollar which would be 99 dollars $10 would be 10 draws exactly equaling $100. $11 bet would be 9 draws under a dollar. You'll 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 see it right there, right beside it. So $12 would be 8 draws, 13 would be 8 draws, 14 would be 7 draws, 15 would be 7 draws. Result after last draw would you from the $15 bet would be one thousand five hundred and four dollars so you're gonna be like over four dollars just to calculate how many draws you've really spent that would total 
332 draw, draws dividing by two would be 166 days that you played for. And now rattling up the months. So let's just say we start at January 1st, January 31 days, 28, March, April, May. So at least around the around it'll take you until mid June to spend this much money. If and if you win on that very last draw, you're gonna end up being minus four dollars. <throat> but either way, if you if you think this strategy is good, you can like share your thoughts down below and see which numbers you're gonna try, and I maybe I can give you some help on that. If you think this is too risky, you can you can go by your own strategy. You don't really have to follow what I'm showing you. This is just to help you so you don't ha end up being in the minus situation once the numbers hit, because once the numbers hit, you will be in the plus zone or breaking even at last minute. But here's an example of how you would bet for real. Let's say I start like the draw on June 1st, the winning draw, I end up winning on August 21st. How many draws would you have to play and spend up to that date? So I would start with the $1 bet, which is 100 draws for 50 days. June has 30 days, so the last 20 days will be on July 20th. Evening draw. At that point, you've spent $100. Then after that draw, increase your bet on July 21st. So $2 bet. 50 draws would be 25 days. There are 11 days left remaining for July. Complete those last days for $2 bet. Then do the last 14 days for the first 14 days of August. Once those are complete, you have now spent another $100. Now, after that, increase the bet to $3 and just play for 10 draws. And you, it's going to be a total of 33 draws for completing a $3 bet. So there's 16 days plus one midday draw. Plus 10 draws for a $3 bet. You have two draws left remaining. For the expected win date, I would play 10 draws more in case another win shows up. But after that win, you would spend $60 from 20 draws. Okay, so that $30 was already spent. Now do another 10 draws and you only and you win on the second draw which is which is on August 21st. So now that you've spent $260 you already got you already won the $300 and that your profit is now $40 <clears throat> I hope you guys are understanding what I'm trying to show you but for June 1st I'm only going to be playing the number the set that are not that have not been drawn yet which is 34 37 51 68 one of these other sets, I believe it's 34, 37, 51, 56. They've already been drawn three times since the start of this year. 30, 37, 51, 56 were drawn once, which was on March 24th. 34, 37, 51, 68 were only drawn once, which was back in January. So I played those numbers because those are overdue. Those are numbers I should be focusing on because they're already been passed almost five months but I'm gonna take a risk and just play it as a three dollar bet so I'm basically multiplying these by three you don't have to follow this if you want to go by your own strategy that's okay but this is what I'm gonna show you on how I'm playing
So if you guys are okay with this, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section and I'll get back to you as I can. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification button if you want to receive an update. Scratch offs as I'm going to be doing scratch offs for June scratch off challenge, which is next month. Which would be like around the first week of June when they get new scratch tickets. But for June 1st, I'm going to be playing 34, 37, 51, 68 as a $3 bet. 10 draws each time. For 100 draws, I'm just multi double tripling it. But I'm sorry for the long delay. I was going to do this like a few months ago, but I've been so caught up with work, being full-time as a manager. Like, it's like... It's hard to keep up with all this, but I'm doing the best I can to make sure you guys are viewing my content, enjoying my videos, and being entertained. I do apologize for the long delay. I hope this strategies video is what you expected from me. And I hope this is helpful information and helpful strategy towards benefiting your winning luck and if you guys are still playing the lottery out there good luck and stay tuned for more videos coming your way thanks for watching